Welcome, my friends. Layoffs have recently expanded beyond tech giants like Microsoft and Amazon. Service industries such as hospitality and restaurants have been hiring to rebuild after the pandemic. The Fed has been closely watching job and wage growth as it seeks to tame inflation. What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Job cuts are rising at some of the biggest US companies. But others are still scrambling to hire workers. This is the result of wild swings in consumer priorities since the COVID pandemic began three years ago. Tech giants are announcing big layoffs. Meta. Amazon. And Microsoft. Along with companies ranging from Disney to Zoom. Lots of high-profile companies have announced job cuts over the past few weeks. U.S. employers cut nearly 103,000 jobs in January. Meanwhile, employers overall added 517,000 jobs last month. That is nearly three times the number analysts expected. This points to a labor market that's still tight. That is particularly the case in service sectors that were hit hard earlier in the pandemic. Such as restaurants. And hotels. The dynamic is making it even harder to predict the path of the U.S. economy. Consumer spending has remained robust and surprised some economists. This is despite higher interest rates and persistent inflation. All of it is part of the COVID pandemic's legacy of weirdness, said David Kelly, global chief strategist at J.P. Morgan Asset Management. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is scheduled to release its next non-farm payroll on March 3. Some analysts and economists are issuing warnings. They warn of weakness in some sectors, strains on household budgets, a drawdown on saving, and high interest rates. All of these factors could further fan out job weakness in other sectors, especially if wages don't keep pace with inflation. Wages for workers in the leisure and hospitality industry rose to $20.78 per hour in January from $19.42 a year earlier. There's a difference between saying the labor market is tight and the labor market is strong, Kelly said. Many employers have faced challenges in attracting and retaining staff over the past few years, Kelly continued. That includes challenges including workers' childcare needs, she continued. And competing workplaces that might have better schedules and pay, Kelly added. That interest rates are rising and inflation is staying elevated. Consumers could pull back spending. And that could spark job losses and it could reduce hiring needs in otherwise thriving sectors. When you lose a job you don't just lose a job, there's a multiplier effect, said Anita Murkowska, chief economist at Jefferies. That means while there might be trouble in some tech companies, that could translate to lower spending on business travel. It could also cause households to pull back sharply on spending on services and other goods. Some of the recent layoffs have come from companies that beefed up staffing over the course of the pandemic. That was when remote work and e-commerce were more central to consumer and company spending. Amazon last month announced 18,000 job cuts across the company. The Seattle-based company employed 1.54 million people at the end of last year. That is nearly double the number at the end of 2019. Microsoft said it's cutting 10,000 jobs, about 5% of its workforce. The software giant had 221,000 employees as of the end of June last year up from 144,000 before the pandemic. Tech, used to be a grow-at-all-cost sector, and it's maturing a little bit, said Michael Gapin, head of U.S. economic research at Bank of America Global Research. Other companies are still adding employees. Boeing, for example, is planning to hire 10,000 people this year, many of them in manufacturing and engineering. It will also cut around 2,000 corporate jobs, mostly in human resources and finance departments, through layoffs and attrition. The growth aims to help the aerospace giant ramp up output of new aircraft for a rebound in orders with large sales to airlines like United and Air India. Airlines and aerospace companies were devastated early in the pandemic. When travel dried up and are now playing catch-up. Airlines are still scrambling for pilots. A shortage that has limited capacity. While demand for experiences such as travel and dining has surged. Chipotle is planning to hire 15,000 workers as it gears up for a busier spring season, and to support its expansion. Businesses large and small are also finding they have to raise wages to attract and retain workers. Industries that fell out of favor with consumers and other businesses. 
such as restaurants, and aerospace, are rebuilding workforces after shedding workers. Walmart said it would raise minimum pay for store employees to $14 an hour to attract and retain workers. The Miners Hotel in Butte, Montana, raised hourly pay for housekeepers by $1.50 to $12.50 for that position in the last six weeks because of a high turnover rate, said Cassidy Smith, its general manager. Airports and concessionaires have also been racing to hire workers in the travel rebound. Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport has been holding monthly job fairs and offers some staff childcare scholarships to help hiring. Austin Bergstrom International Airport where schedules by seats this quarter has grown 48% from the same period of 2019. It has launched a number of initiatives, such as $1,000 referral bonuses and signing and retention incentives for referred staff. The airport also raised hourly wages for airport facilities representatives from $16.47 in 2022 to $20.68 in 2023. Austin has a high cost of living, said Kevin Russell, the airport's deputy chief of talent. He said employee retention has improved. Electricians, plumbers, and heating and air conditioning technicians in particular, however, have been difficult to retain because they can work at other places that aren't 24-7 and at higher pay, he said. Many companies' new workers need to be trained. A time-consuming element for some industries to ramp back up. Even if it's gotten easier to attract new employees. Hiring is not a constraint anymore. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun said on an earnings call in January. The story is far different in the tech world. It is only a couple of months since Meta laid off 11,000 employees. Now there are signs the company could be preparing for another wave of cuts. Meta is the parent company of Facebook and Instagram. And it has reportedly ranked thousands of employees as subpar. There was a recent wave of performance reviews. And that's raising fears among workers. Declining revenues at Meta suggest that more belt tightening is on the way. Those concerns come after CEO and founder Mark Zuckerberg declared 2023 a year of efficiency. At least, that is what he said on an earnings call at the beginning of February. We're working on flattening our org structure and removing some layers of middle management to make decisions faster, said Zuckerberg. We're going to be more proactive about cutting projects that aren't performing or may no longer be as crucial, Zuckerberg continued. If you follow this channel or technology news in general, you already know that Meta is laying off 13% of its employees. That amounts to more than 11,000 employees. Many tech companies of all sizes are announcing layoffs this year. Twitter rocked the tech world with a massive 50% layoff. Lyft cut 13% of its employees. And, of course, these layoffs come at a time of strong macroeconomic headwinds. If you follow this channel, you already know the economic narrative of the day. Inflation is raging in most countries of the world. Central banks in most countries are aggressively raising interest rates in order to fight inflation. Despite all of that so far, soaring inflation and Fed tightening persist. And the United States is teetering on the brink of a recession. A growing number of companies are cutting their payrolls. Most CEOs believe that a recession is coming and want to prepare their companies for it. So, people are feeling uneasy about the security of their jobs. Consumers are pulling back on discretionary spending. Corporate marketers are cutting back on ad spending, especially online. And ad spending is the lifeblood of most big tech companies. Netflix has cut 450 jobs so far this year in two rounds of layoffs. Scores of other smaller tech companies have announced job cuts. Stripe laid off 15%. Lyft cut 13%. Snap. Owner of Snapchat, announced a 20% reduction of employees. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.